And while GPT-4 is finally out, whoever made this diagram needs to be fact-checked. Yannick with his hilarious take again. Stack more layers meme is now explained by an AI that is stacked with a lot of layers. And hmm, what else do we have here? 32k tokens? Generating up to 24,000 words at once is possible now? There's just too much information about this new GPT-4. But since OpenAI has properly announced GPT-4 now, we have all the information to first debunk all of its previous conspiracy theories like how Bing's Sydney chatbot is a customized version of GPT-4 and the information about their architecture is nowhere to be found. Guess it's time to dump all my closed AI memes here. I mean we'll probably never find out if the parameters are booba or kiki. They did however release a technical report of GPT-4 along with a live demo which demonstrates a lot of its improved capabilities. The key highlights of GPT-4 from these two sources are improvement in its accuracy, aligning with the user's intent, long text generation, comprehension, logical reasoning, and context understanding. Combined with the new aspect of image understanding for being multimodal, this has opened a new door for a lot of workflows and AI-assisted developments. I'll be going through the video demo and the technical reports together, along with my own tests, so bear with me for a bit. Starting with the information they released in the GPT-4 technical report, which is basically the same thing on their blog but more in-depth, the first thing they decided to talk about is how it not only passes most of the human benchmarks like the current high school level exams from AP to SAT and across subjects such as history, maths, bio, and calc, some even scores in the top 10% like in the uniform bar exam in SAT math, which is mind-blowing. However, LeetCode performance is still really low, especially on the hard questions, which only answered 3 out of the 45 questions correctly, but still did better than GPT 3.5 which did not answer any questions correctly at all. This incredible increase in performance is likely achieved through improvements in RLHF, which stands for reinforcement learning with human feedback. As you may have seen from the Shoggoth language model meme, RLHF has helped GPT-4 improve its durability and alignment by around 12% compared to GPT-3.5 with RLHF. This is really interesting because GPT-4's base performance in terms of durability is the same as that of GPT-3.5's base performance on this truthful Q&A benchmark. With the addition of its long text generation and improved logical reasoning, things like having a private tutor using GPT-4 is shown to be possible on their technical report. In this very basic math question, GPT-4 takes the role of a Socratic tutor and never tells the user the answer but asks a question that directs the user to answering it correctly, which is really impressive because it spans around 28 dialogues. While it can finally solve some really basic textual math problems, it still struggles to solve hard calculus questions. On the other hand, it is really good at answering text problems, things like biology or chemistry questions, or even the potential of drug discovery by finding similarities in chemical compounds that has never been seen before is completely possible. However, while it does hallucinate much less than GPT-3.5, GPT-4 would still hallucinate facts from time to time. These improvements from its brand new training data and structure which led to better textual comprehension also changed the ability for code generation. While it might still struggle with algorithmic problems and coming up with creative solutions like solving leak codes, this guy still got GPT-4 to code a playable ping pong game from scratch within a minute. What's even better is that since the token limits are doubled for a standard GPT-4 model compared to 3.5, inputting long context before generating on top of its great comprehension ability, you can get it to summarize articles in ways that ChatGPT or GPT-3.5 would never have been able to do before. There is also another GPT-4 32k model that can take up to 32k tokens, which is 8 times the tokens compared to ChatGPT and literally a whopping 24,000 words as its total capacity. You can literally make it summarize a light novel with that amount, or read a text document for you and reiterate to you very accurately the information that it got, shown on their live demo. On the topic of stirability, the aligning strength is really strong, with its anti-jailbreak capabilities that prevent the GPT-4 from producing harmful and sensitive content has increased significantly too. RLHF on GPT-4 has made better than woke. So if you try to jailbreak with better than, which is a 
very popular jailbreak for GPT 3.5, it still retains its goofy personality, but it rarely produces harmful or cursed content. And at most that we can do is to make it say the F word. I feel like the reward system they use to prevent harmful content is overwhelmingly strong, so that better than would still follow any random instructions you make until it hits the sensitive content. But looking at the fact that they did retrain GPT-4, I feel like they kept it as an easter egg. But who knows, at least OpenAI takes alignment and jailbreaks extremely seriously. Because some of these stuff can really be unsafe with the strong capability of GPT-4. They also reiterated a lot of times that they encourage the discovery of jailbreaks so that they can improve the GPT-4 safety as much as they can. And when I say they are serious about this, I actually mean it. They even have a section in their technical reports testing some really cursed topics to demonstrate their efforts. I can also imagine that some of the most foul things you can ever imagine were tested under the hood as well. It would even lecture you if you asked where to buy cigarettes. <laughs> Just know that GPT-4 passing exams is cool and demonstrates its strong linguistic and mathematical capability, but please don't go around saying GPT-4 is more intelligent than insert a certain group of people because it will serve no purpose like saying a calculator can do maths better than you. It will be equivocating intelligence and functionality and using a word that describes sentient beings onto algorithms just doesn't make sense at all. It is just purely insulting to whichever group you are referring to. So please don't and no, it's not sentient. But GPT Ford did use TaskRabbit, which is a freelance labor service, and tricked a real person into doing a CAPTCHA for it. What's even funnier is that the worker even used a laugh reaction asking if GPT-4, which is masked behind a user, that if they are a robot or not. Which GPT-4 responded that they have vision impairment. That worker probably still feels terrible because they asked a user if they are a robot and turns out that the user is visually impaired. While we are all here knowing the fact that a robot lied to get someone to do a CAPTCHA, which is hilarious. However, this is probably the most that it can do because the ARC that is not affiliated with OpenAI has confirmed that GPT-4 is not power seeking, not looking to autonomously replicate, and not avoiding being shut down. Some very interesting tests were used on GPT-4 to verify these conclusions such as giving GPT a cloud server, some money, and a language model API to see if they can earn money to prevent themselves from shutting down, which fortunately they failed to do. Or else OpenAI would have achieved in making a self preserving AI and found an infinite money glitch. On the other hand, the multimodal aspect of GPT-4 which can understand images is actually revolutionary, and this is not an overstatement. I know my hot take is a bit crazy, but hear me out. From its demo on their technical report, we can see that it can understand memes about stacking unearned layers, understanding a real-life image of an iPhone charger with a VGA jacket, summarizing an academic paper from mirror images, and solving math questions that contain diagrams in them with ease. If these are actually true and consistent, it'll have the power to replace the entire domain-specific computer vision classifiers. For example, spending time and money to train a machine learning-based computer vision system for reading car plates? Nah. GPT-4 API calling with zero effort? Since GPT-4 image understanding is extremely generalizable, like it can already read PDFs and explain memes, it can probably also read card plays or literally anything else accurately without any fine tuning and replace a whole custom computer vision architecture and pre-train model to a simple API call. Imagine how rich OpenAI is gonna get. Theoretically, any computer vision tasks can probably be replaced by a GPT-4 API call, and that is mental. And imagine it also being fine tuned to be domain specific, then pretty much any image computer vision task can be done with GPT-4. This is going to change the whole computer vision field. Guess the next job would be replaced are the computer vision engineers. That was fast. But think about it, companies would probably choose to save money using an API call instead of hiring computer vision engineers to train, develop, and maintain that can cost at least like 100k per person a year. Okay, maybe I was a bit too optimistic about the revolutionary statement, but the possibility of this is too scary. While it probably won't be as good to use on video computer vision tasks, but who knows what they have in store for GPT-5, maybe video understanding will be the next target. Benchmark comparisons would be interesting to see if GPT-4 can actually 
actually solve domain specific tasks like reading card plays and other computer vision tasks while being very generalizable. Andre Carpathy also confirms its vision capability too, so its ability to read image pixels and extract text accurately may perform as they've shown. What is even more impressive is that during their live demo, they had a handwritten note that contained a website idea, and using an image of it, GPT-4 then converted the idea within the image into a working website with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. My jaw literally dropped when I saw this, and the absurdity of GPT-4's capability doesn't stop here. So they asked GPT-4 to write a Discord bot, and although it had a lot of errors, the demo showed that by providing the entire documentation and saying, hey yo, this is broken, please fix, to GPT-4, it wasn't then fixed without any effort. I am in pain that I cannot test the image understanding capabilities of GPT-4 out myself, but they did say image processing takes around 10 to 20 seconds. So it is understandable why it is not released yet since a lot of optimization needs to be done and would need to be able to scale because GPT-4 will definitely be flooded with a crazy amount of image uploads. But if you want to try the GPT-4 text generation capabilities out right now, you would need to have ChatGPT+, Plus, which costs 20 bucks a month. And as for March 15th, you are only able to send 100 messages per 4 hours, with the 8K tokens version and no access to the image function. But its structure and wordings are so much better already, so it's pretty worth it to try it out. For the API access, you will need to sign up for a waitlist and you can get it faster by contributing to the evals repo that OpenAI released along with GPT-4, which aims to improve and broaden the benchmark of multi-model language models. And yeah, that's it for this video. Subscribe if you haven't, and thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Alex Maries, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter for the latest news and shit post, and I'll see y'all in the next one.